What's amazing for me about AI is not just the potential that we think we're going to see out of it, but the pace of innovation and just how fast everything's moving. So we're, we're definitely at one of those inflection points. I'm Steve Saunders, and I'm looking at how artificial intelligence is reshaping the telecommunications landscape. No one makes the leap to the AI age alone. Cisco's Agile Services networking framework is already helping carriers make real-world gains from AI without having to rip and replace the old world overnight. It's not just another tech trend. It's a fundamental shift in how networks are built, operated, and monetized. To understand what's really happening, I'm speaking with the people designing the next generation of comms infrastructure. Over the last number of years, we've seen a very hard time for our service provider partners to drive new revenue in the consumer space. And where we have seen growth consistently is in the enterprise, IoT, and fixed wireless area. So as you look at generating new revenue, some of the really critical things they need is they need a lot of flexibility. So the way that Cisco's helping service providers do this is really by marrying our knowledge and expertise and our close customer relationships with the enterprise, the knowledge of their applications with the service providers' networks, and we brought that together into what we call the mobility services platform. The simpler things are, the more people are going to adopt it. Right now, connectivity, creating the edge is hard. I have to negotiate multiple contracts. I have to go embed things that are not naturally embeddable. And when you make it all in a one and all in one solution, it makes it very easy. It's a great ecosystem. It's just not the Cisco wireless products, but of course, their private 5G, their software stack, Splunk, all the Cisco capabilities we are putting together. Um, along with NTT's capabilities, and it's a great synergy. This isn't about evolution. It's about reinvention. Carriers are moving beyond the backbone of the internet to become the brains of a connected, intelligent world. AI is a huge tailwind for service providers. They've got all the assets. They've got power, they've got space, they've got fiber. We've got the solutions now with our agile services networking architecture and our AI services factory. We can put this together and they can bring this to market much more easily than they would otherwise get to. At the heart of tomorrow's AI infrastructure is Cisco's Silicon One, a unified high-speed chip built to power the networks of the future. Our Silicon One investment has really been very helpful for us. Um, as you may know, uh, NVIDIA selected Silicon One as the only other silicon yeah. to be standardized as part of their reference architecture. And so we have both the silicon in the form of Silicon One that goes into the networking applications, the switch that's used in the AI infrastructure, and we have the optics that interconnect switches and GPUs. And so we play a very, very significant role for our enterprise customers and for hyperscalers who are deploying AI infrastructure and may need switches on the front end or back end. We partner with Cisco to be able to build those architectures. We're now acquiring routers and switches and optical devices that are form factor and function fit for purpose for where we're deploying them in the network. And so we focus on the right equipment in the right time with the right capabilities that allows us to pay as we grow and rack and stack, but also more importantly, one in which we can fully distribute out those capabilities to where our customers need it. The network is the, it's the asset and the way you make money and so, this idea of service monetization, speed to market, uh, uh, using the platform to uh, monetize and provide value to customers in new ways is critical. Industry players like Cisco are becoming enablers for a new age of AI-equipped CSPs, providing the infrastructure, automation, and tools that turn traditional networks into intelligent platforms for innovation. It's fair to say in the market, everybody has their moment of glory. What is interesting with Cisco is that the moment comes again and again. We saw Silicon One came out together with Ron, which allowed us to keep growing, to keep improving. And what I like about Cisco is that it's a partnership. It's not just about the big building blocks, but they also listen to the customer and work on specific needs, on sustainability, on visualization of services. We are partnering with Cisco, and that is the game changer. It is the partnership. Not so much boxes, but really like the glue to do more with those boxes.